So you want to add fancy captions to your videos. Today I'm going to be showing you step by step how you can burn captions into your videos and why you'd want to do that in the first place. Welcome back to my Holly G's VIPs. If you are new to me, my name is Holly G. I am your go-to video gal and I help leading ladies save time on both sides of the camera. And I do this by teaching them the skills they need to create business cinema. That is video with a plan, purpose, system, and a strategy. If you want to learn more about how to save time on both sides of the camera, come on over to hollygstudios.com and make sure you are subscribed to this channel and click the bell so you can get notified when new videos go live. Okay. So, uh, why do you even need captions anyway? What's the benefit of adding captions into your video? So there's actually two different ways to caption your video. There is um, the captioning that is automated and you know you create that SRT file and that's what comes up across the bottom of the video when you click closed captions. And then there's also the burning of the captions onto the video. And that is when you physically, you know, you put the captions onto the video, you're not relying on the SRT file. So a couple of reasons why you would even wanna use captions and specifically why you'd wanna burn the captions into the video. The first thing is for accessibility. One in six people um, is hearing impaired or is suffering from some form of hearing loss. And you want your video to be accessible to that audience. The second reason is because 80% of people who watch videos on Facebook are watching them without the sound. Also, you know, like sometimes like I'm in a public place and I still want to watch your video, but I don't have the luxury of putting the sound on because I don't want to disrupt everybody around me. P.S. That's right. Just saying. But anyway, if you want to be able to also appeal to that audience, which is a huge audience, people watching on mobile, people who are gonna be watching without the sound, but you still want them to be able to absorb the information that you're providing in the video, you're gonna to wanna to use closed captions or you're gonna to wanna to burn those captions onto the video. The third reason is it actually improves comprehension. When somebody can see it and hear it and read it, you know, it, it improves the absorption of that particular material. So if you're training, you're doing teaching, you're sharing valuable information that you definitely want to make sure is getting absorbed, you're going to want to go ahead and add in those closed captions and or burn the captions onto the video. So today I'm actually going to walk you through step by step and show you this amazing tool that I've been using called Clip Scribe. And I've been using this to burn the captions onto my videos. Prior to this, I was doing it manually in Adobe Premiere, which is also a great way to do it, but this saves me so much time. And I'm all about hashtag save me time because I am a busy mom. I have a 19 month old and I am currently almost seven months pregnant. So I need all the time back that I can. So all of the things I can do in regard to creating video for my business that allows me to also save time, give it to me, give it to me, give me my time back. I need my time back. Okay, so here we are in Clipscribe. I have already created my Facebook version and my IGT version of my videos. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select those files and upload them here now. So it's just a matter of going over to my finder window, going into my folder, which already has the videos that I want to burn the captions in and just dragging and dropping them in. I'm gonna do them one at a time. So I'm gonna start with my Facebook version. So this is FB December video ideas. And this is a horizontal video. And then just, it'll take just a couple of minutes to upload. Okay, so while that's uploading, I am going to go ahead and upload the IGTV version. And I'm just gonna drag and drop that, switch this over to vertical and change this to IGTV December video ideas. The transcriptions have been completed and now they're ready for design. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open up my Facebook version and choose the correct size here 
And then I'm just going to make a couple of quick adjustments to the font so it's more on point with my brand. So there's all of these different fonts that you can choose from. I use the Open Sans 600 and um, a gray color. Okay, so now that I have my font, my size, my color, I'm just gonna go ahead and click Save. And then I'm gonna move on over to the closed caption tab so that I can adjust the text as needed. You will have to kind of run through and just make a couple of quick adjustments if there's any typos. Let's go ahead and do that now. No idea what to talk about in the videos? No, probably. Okay, so right here, no idea. I actually say what to talk about in your videos. No idea what to talk about in the videos. Okay, just right here, this is needs a space. I'm also just going to bring this in a little bit here. But you get the idea. You'll just run through. It usually takes maybe, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. It depends on how long the video is and how many adjustments need to be made. But it's so much faster than doing it inside of Adobe Premiere where you're creating the titles one by one. Okay, so I just finished reviewing and that took all of about less than 10 minutes. And what I'm gonna do now is, there's this option here where you can add in a countdown bar and it just kind of scrolls on the top and just shows people like how much of the video is left. I don't use this, um, but if I did, this is what it would look like, let's see. You see this little line coming across the top here. So that's what that would look like. There's also blocks, so you can add something like that if you want, or something like this that just kind of goes around and just ticks down as your video is moving forward. You could also have the opportunity to add in a branding or logo, but because I create a custom graphic for mine, I don't use this. So last thing I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna wanna go ahead and click save, and then I'm gonna click make. And what it's doing now is it's burning the transcriptions onto the video and is giving me a downloadable version of the video that I can then use on Facebook. It's super, super easy to use. I have been loving it and that's why I wanted to bring it to you guys to show you I'm not an affiliate. I just really like it and I think that it could save you a ton of time behind the camera for either you or for your team. So go on and check it out and let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know if you have any other questions about this. I'm happy to cover them in any future videos. Just let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel. If you know somebody else who might like this video, go ahead and share it up. If you wanna learn more about how to save time on both sides of the camera and create videos with a plan, purpose, system, and strategy, come on over to hollygstudios.com and check out all the ways to work with me. And remember, you are someone's reason to smile, so don't give up.